That's definitely not right. Good, yeah. glorious morning. How we doing? Hello, y'all. We're gonna drop this trolling motor in the water. I don't know what. You know what's good news, guys? Rolled up to Fun and Son. They replaced the battery. This might, this thing might shoot off on me on Power Ten. <laughs> I've been fishing. First of all, I don't think uh, Rob's gone fishing without me. In uh, months. It's been a while. No, it's been a very long time. So we've we've been through these battles. One of them has been this trolling motor. And we are full power, baby. Spot lock today. Awesome. Let's take a flip up at this moon right here. You guys ever seen an upside down shot like that? <laughs> Check that out. Here it is. This is the moon. I'm giving you guys the moon cast. Right there. We're at a half. A halfer. Oh, yeah. They're not spawning yet. Oh, yeah. They're not spawning. Oh, oh. Comorants. Oh, those, those, are, yeah, those, are, those are not ducks. Those are cormorants. Yeah, those are the ones we want to kill, but we can't. <sighs> Rob's rocking the new Guggen Squad gear. Look at that. Doosh, doosh, in doosh, the letter doosh. jacket. I feel like I'm back in high school. Yeah. Feels like we're on the varsity team. Yeah. Yeah, and I've uh, I've actually got I've got one of these on. I'm I'm loving this one. Hook and cook, baby. Story of my life. Should, Hooking should and cast? cooking. Should you should yeah. cast. Yes. Yeah. Can't yet. Look at these guys on this. They're on this. The whole Creek Channel bend right there. Oh, like, oh dangling it. Oh, I can, I can see it. Oh, oh. they still got a flashlight oh, on they're, out they're, there. Lots of things happening on the graph. Looks like a Tetris game exploded on the graph right now. <laughs> Dang. Um, I think those are a mix of trees and some other sort of fish in there. Well, that's a lot of stuff going on. We're on a main lake point, 38 feet of water, um, and there's a little ledge out here. So we're gonna. We're gonna dangle one up. Here we go, folks. Literally, I don't think I've retied this jerk bait since the last time I was here. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with this full trolling motor power. I was like, man, this thing's not walking correctly. I feel like I can oh. conquer the earth. You don't say. So have you retied that since it's uh, been in your seat? Oh, I got one. Oh, he came off. Yep, he came up and uh, gave it the old grab on the first cast. That's always good. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, look at that tree. Yeah, I know. It's funny how you don't see things when the sun, the sun is not is... fully yeah. engaged. Oh, oh, had another one. And now it's in a tree. Going over some fish right now, eight feet of water. They're definitely up here doing it. They're just stacked right there. Look, how, look at them stacked thick on that ledge. Oh. They are just doing it. I'll tell you what, Rob. Yeah, this, uh... We should probably spot lock it out here because they continue to show themselves. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I know they haven't seen this. I, I should, here sure we go, I baby. Should, I should actually catch a tree on this cast. Just trying to get a little bite going. Some cranks, some movement. I got one. Do you really? I do. Good. That's what we needed. Oh, come off, dude. You that's did? three that have. I'm gonna try it. They are not eating good. Oh, just had another bite. How deep are you? How deep are you right now? Oh, like three, three, three foot. foot. Yeah. Look at that one right there. Woo, that looks nice. Right now I'm pretty much throwing the same daggum thing I was throwing the other day when me and Rob catch fish, doing the same sort of situation. You guys ever do that? Like, don't retire your lures for a couple weeks because you like what it is and think it's gonna work. That's it right there. Just a little, uh, little cranker. I'm telling you right now, you put on a little spinning rig, get out there and just boop, 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 play with them. They're gonna eat. Drop shot, done. What we're seeing is these fish are just kind of glued to the bottom. Uh, there, a lot of them are. There's some that are kind of roaming up shallow, but they really don't seem to be eating good. So we are gonna break out some finesse stuff. Right now I've got a, I've got a small blade bait. I'm probably gonna end up putting uh, some finesse worms, like doing a drop shot or maybe a uh, just a small jig head type deal with some lighter line. It's this lake is just very pressured. I've never taken- Oh, here, new title. Well, that pretty much just summed <laughs> that deal up there. That just makes your decisions easy. I was like, I'm gonna throw this for a minute until it gets hung up. Uh, and then I'm gonna tie on a drop shot. Now I just, I'm fully committed. It's that easy. 
Yeah, they don't move. Oh, that day, that Welcome to the program. I'm gonna get it popping with some eight pound. I just keep seeing fish here that don't want to eat. Look at these fish that were just sitting right there. I could not successfully get them to uh, eat a lure. Dang you, you 12 foot, three pound son of a gun. Maybe we need to go deeper, like 40 foot. Oh yeah, put a dinner plate on, get a knife out, get a dinner plate. This isn't really dang. This is freaking walloping. I don't know what you call this. Okay, I've had about eight fish on. Time to show you guys. Had one on the old big spoon, but it just did not, uh, didn't go well. Feels very solid. Well, Ned, and it, it feels like a Ned fish. This could actually be a tilapia. It is the smallest bass <laughs> ever. Wow, we doozy. Wow. Woo! Yeah. That was something there. That's a barn burner. Yeah, that's what I like to see, baby. <laughs> that is not, God, you were really, really showing the world you know what you're doing today. Wow. Look at all the fish on the graph. And then uh, look at the size of that spoon, the size of that fish. That is. Look, I brought the school. Yep, you did. You got them. Hey, I'm glad we could oh, bring up that school. Let's go ahead and just. No, there's some big ones in there. Let's. You yeah, saw. I... Hey, Yagi. Whoa. There we go. There's a fish. Finesse style. Ate it good. Got ourselves a little group here. I'm actually, I am going down the path of throwing a Ned rig on, which is so off the charts for me. But I throw the big beef, I throw the spoon, I catch a donkazoid. I mean, the heck, man. Something ain't right. These fish have just been hit so hard they want a, they want a little dangle. Rob's been catching them on a drop shot and haven't broke three pounds We're just catching these uh these two skis they're uh they're out here on these ledges this is ledge fishing oh yeah not a big one Woo! see you later charlie but you're down there you're doing things Oh, is that a fish or your line? Probably your line. They really just do not want to get a moving bait up. Got one. Where are we at? Oh boy. We've got we've got a We've got a tangle. Oh this is Yeah here we go. Another, uh, other little, wow. little guy. Okay, where's those three pounders? Where's those big ones we saw in that rock pile? Got a little something in the tank here, though. Oh, there's a bite. He's got it. I got him. Feels ultra small. He is. He's an ultra small little bass. He couldn't resist the little finesse. Just don't know. I think he caught. I think he caught five fish. Fish all up on the graph, but they're not that big, or they don't want to bite. It's been the problem. We're gonna change regions. Other side of the lake, deep. First, first spooner. Yeah. Oh, look what we got here. Look what we got here. Drumski. 
Drumski. Gasper Goo, as they're commonly known. They have goo on them. They're shad eaters. They do love some shad. Just over there. God. Hammered? Hammered again. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. Come on, baby. Be a bass. Be a nice, juicy, big bass. He's coming up. Oh, when you get hammered on that spoon game, it is delicious. What you doing now? Where are you going? I'm trying to fill you away. Oh, we got another side hooker. Oh, yes. Never seen this before. Double drums. Double drums on spoons. Shiny things. Other species like them too. I'll catch a catfish next. That'll be it. That'll be it. That's a large mouth for sure. Oh, it's bad. Oh, embracing the suck with this wind right now. <laughs> Come on, be a good fish. First fish in like two hours. And it's a large mouth. Oh, we have a fish. You got a fish? Big, small? Oh, oh dang! Little drag puller now. Come on, get you some. Oh, that is not a drum. Good job, there we go. Oh my gosh, did you see that jump? He's a jumping son of a gun. This is uh this is on the drag and drop. Oh, it's on the drag and drop? Yeah. Oh, I thought you threw a spoon on. No, I switched up to the uh finesse style. Went with the old mushroom head and a drag and drop. Typically something I'd throw up in Canada, but it is getting, wow, he has got it. He has got it. Come here, baby. Hey, you. Come here. This color right here, guys, this is called natural, El Natural. And it kind of looks like uh, tilapia color. Anyway, that fish just bloop. Ate it really good after catching two on a spoon. We got a few more fish here. To get this quarter ounce bait down here in this 20 mile an hour wind is a difficult chore. And me and Rob are just, uh, we're battling it right now. So to be honest with you, I don't, I don't know how much we can take because fishing finesse just seems to be the only way we can catch fish. And it is extremely hard to do in this wind. Yeah. Get him! Oh, came off. Oh, I still got him. Oh, he came back. What? Came back and did one. Be a big one. Oh, you're just good, good looking. You're a handsome young fish. Apologize if you were on there for about four minutes. I had no clue what was going on. Okay, come here, baby! Finesse fish. You don't often see it on this channel. The old quarter ounce, little mushroom head. Bit the tail off there on that drag and drop, but perfect little finesse bait to put on there. And unfortunately, I say unfortunately, I mean, it's never unfortunate when you catch a fish, but. Whoa, extra bonus, like button. We usually like to catch them on big things you know I really wanted to catch them on uh, big stuff like this like this big spoon jigs big Texas rigs but um, they just want the light line and finesse rigs today and unfortunately I don't think I can really feel my lure anymore and I think I'm gonna just have to go put some food in my face and call it a day look at these fish y'all just 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 there doing their bass sort of thing that they like to do just hanging on that little ledge there oh man I really wish y'all that all those fish were like four pounds or better it would have been such a just an incredible experience today instead you know they were just average fish which is okay breaking out the finesse rods man that is tough 
That is a tough thing for me to do. I really wanted to break out that big spoon and just go to town. Really show you guys how to work that big spoon out here. And the water is just coming in the boat. So we're moving on to other things. Whew, I gotta put you guys away. It's getting wet out here. I just made it back. There are literally so many leaves. If I don't cover this vessel right away, it's gonna just be a, a big old just leaf bag out here. I mean, I don't even know. Me and Stephanie set out 10 bags of, of leaves. I've never bagged leaves in my life. I did. I never thought I would be doing that. I always thought that was silly. Why would you bag leaves? It's a biodegradable thing. We have so many, the grass can't even grow. Dad gum it. I need a leaf sucker. Now I know one of you out there has the magical solution to this situation, a device that I need. Please let me know in the comments down below. Fresh spruits coming up here. Hmm. Now there's two reasons I did that. Number one, I don't like erosion in the yard. Number two, the deer love to come eat in my yard and I like to give them a little something, a little food plot. Look at that fresh, nutritious greenery down there. I've basically spent the rest of my day picking up leaves out of the yard. I don't think there is any other way to feel more like an adult than to just rake leaves into piles and put them in trash bags and maybe burn a few a little bit, you know, just yard maintenance. And I've been cleaning up the cave because I got something special going in the corner over here, guys. I've already done the video on it, and uh, I'm just gonna give you a quick sneak. It's a quick sneaker, quick sneaker. That's all you get. Amazing piece of furniture I've built. It's gonna be a doozy, so look out for that video. I don't really know how to put a title on today's video, to be quite honest with you. It was finesse fishing, not so targeted, I, I don't know. It, it, normally when I think about finesse fishing, I'm kind of fishing up in shallow water. Today was just, out deep, it was tough. We still got it done though. We still caught fish, we got it done, light tackle. And my favorite way to fish in the cold months for big fish is get on top of them vertically. I like to get around shad and white bass, striper. I, I just like, I like staying in the action where you can catch crappie, catfish, and big bass all at the same time. So I do wanna do some videos coming up for you guys on doing that with spoons of different sorts and uh, and then also getting on top of them with some of the similar tactics we're using today but not just the the slow drag and just barely the fish barely would get it it was tough when you can see them on the bottom and they are not biting the big stuff break out the little worms and that little Ned rig is something I had just started throwing this year and it is good and I tell you what putting that little drag and drop on there is a, a good addition uh, to just instead throwing like a little little turd or a cinco on there so something to try and that is all i've got for you today y'all and i'm happy to report to you guys google has come through and i've got my channel adsense back i've got my account back and we're finally back in action so uh i just thank you guys for all the support prayers if you're praying uh, I know my mom did for like two weeks. Finally got all that stuff back and uh, it's good to go now. Just want to let you guys know that channel's fully up and running. If you want to check out some of the Guggen merch me and Robert were wearing today, I'll leave a link down below. And if you want to check out some of my merch, links down below. I've got some new shirts, hats for you guys. As always, thanks for being here today and I hope wherever you are, you're having a blessed day in the great outdoors. I'll see you on the next one.